today we're going to be having some fun with this. A paper towel roll? What are we going to do with that? Make it into a kaleidoscope? Ooh, cool. No, no, we're not making it into a kaleidoscope. We're going to... I know, I know. We're going to use it as a microphone. Testing, one, two, three. No, 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 no. Please don't sing. We're oh. not making it into a microphone. We're going to... I know, I've got it this time. We're going to use it to shoot spitballs. Yeah, I've got some paper right here. No, 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 no. We're not using this to shoot spitballs. We're using this paper towel roll to learn more about Jesus and about something called perseverance. Perseverance. I know that word. That means you keep on trying even when something is difficult. You don't give up. Join us. Perseverance is a word we've all heard before, but what exactly does it mean? Why is it important? And what does the Bible say about perseverance? Well, perseverance, put simply, is when we keep on going. Even when things are difficult, we don't quit. We keep trying. You may have had to persevere when you learned to ride a bike. Maybe at first you fell down a few times or you got a few bruises. But if you kept going, if you didn't give up and you persevered, eventually you learned to ride your bike. Now we want to make sure that we persevere in doing the right thing, not in doing the wrong things. And most especially, we want to persevere in our faith. We want to continue to trust and obey God, even when we face difficulties. Now, there are many people in the Bible who persevered. There's Job, who continued to have faith, even though he lost everything. There's Nehemiah, who persevered in building the wall, even though his enemies tried to stop him. Then there's the Apostle Paul, whom we study, and he kept on telling people about Jesus no matter what difficulties he faced. And there are so many others, too. Remember Joseph? Joseph was rejected by his brothers who threw him into a cistern. Then they sold him into slavery when he was taken far from his home. While he was a slave, he was falsely accused of wrongdoing and thrown into jail. But through all this, Joseph never stopped trusting and following God. He persevered. And the best example of perseverance, of course, is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Jesus knows what it's like to live a life filled with challenges. He was persecuted by the religious leaders. He was rejected, spit on, beaten, whipped, and nailed to the cross where eventually he died. He was victorious when he rose from the dead on the third day. And he was alive. Through all those challenges, though, he never quit. He never gave up. Jesus persevered. And he reached his goal so he could save us from our sins. So what does the Bible say about perseverance? In James chapter 1, verse 12, it says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. So God is saying he will bless those who persevere through challenging times, who continue to love him and obey him, even in the face of difficulties. And they will receive a reward, the crown of life. Back in Bible days, they put a crown like a wreath on the head of someone who won a race or was victorious in battle. So when we think of this crown, we can think about being victorious as we continue to follow God no matter what we face. And ultimately, we will receive the blessing of eternal life. But 
How can we persevere through trials and difficulties? How can we keep going? I know we can't do it on our own. Let's answer that question with a little demonstration. All we'll need is a piece of paper, a paper towel roll, a stack of books, and some tape. This paper towel roll represents Jesus. The books are some of the difficulties he faced. He was rejected, spit on, beaten, and crucified. Through all these things, Jesus persevered. Now let's pretend this piece of paper is us. And the books are challenges we face, like cyberbullying and someone tempting you to sin. You see, on our own, we can't persevere. We need help. But if we believe in Jesus, then we can have the Holy Spirit in us. And with his help, we can persevere through any challenges we may face. On our own, we can't hold up very long. We can't rely on our own strength. But with God's help, we can persevere through anything. And then we will receive a reward from God, the crown of life. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for teaching us about perseverance and for sending us the Holy Spirit who gives us the strength we need to keep following you each and every day. In your name we pray, amen. So remember, persevere. Keep trusting in and following God every day. Even when you face challenges. The Holy Spirit will help you. And if you persevere to the end, God will reward you with the crown of life.